Hi all, you are watching Sunlin tutorial and today we are going to see how red transition block works in different cases. So let's start. Take one sine wave block, then red transition block and one output port and copy the same design twice. So for this first sine wave block, the sample time is 0.1, then 0.2 and 0.3 for this third sine wave block. Similarly for output port, the sample time for the first output port is 0.2 then 0.1 and 0.3 so here in the third case the, uh, there is no difference in sample time in the first case from 0.1 to 0.2 so the data will be transferred slower and in the second case which is 0.1 is output for sample time and sine wave is 0 0.2 so the data transfer will be faster. For second case, in rate transition block, make the initial value as 10. You'll know why I have making it so. Now to color code the blocks which are having same sample time, select on sample time and click all. Okay, so you can see here in the sample time window, the red colored blocks have 0.1 sample time, green colored blocks have 0.2 and the blocks which have blue color have sample time 0.3. Close this window and to observe the signals in the plot, select signals to be observed. Click on the drop down arrow of simulating data inspector. Select stream selected signals to data inspector and for this design the solver is fixed tape and discrete now simulate the model and click on this paint symbol of simulink data inspector go to subplot and select the format as two rows and three columns for the first row Select sine waves and for the second row select the transition blocks. So for first row, first column, select sine wave 1. Then for second, sine wave 1, colon 1. And the third, sine wave 2, colon 1. Now for the rate transition block, first rate transition block, then second and then the third okay now we have to observe the signals so in the first case which was the data will be transferred slower so if you go to the model and see this rate transition block here it is written as ZOH which is zero order hold if you double click on the rate transition block, you will get the information. Uh, what is the meaning of this one by Z, then no OP. So ZOH is zero order hold. For the second case, it is unit delay and the third, it is no operation. Now go to data inspector. So in zero order hold case, you can see the input is sampled at the rate of 0 0.1 but the output is sampled at 0 0.2 so the alternate sample values are lost which is 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 so on these values are lost in case of the slower data transition so in case of output at those sample values the output port will hold the previous value so this case is 0 order hold now if you observe the second case in which the sample time of sine wave was 0 0.2 and the input and the output port had sample time of 0 0.1 so which was the faster data transition so it acts as unit delay block so if you see we had given the initial value of the rate transition block as 10 so first value is 10 and after that the signal values are as per the input signal values that is sine wave so it is like unit delay block and in the third case in which the input as well as the output had same sample time so there was no difference of 
sample time so the case is no operation so there is no delay or there is no faster data transition so this is the case of no operation so that's how the ray transition block works in different sample time cases so if you want to know more about ray transition block go to help you will find enough information for this blog so that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning